Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're bringing back some more A plus questions. We've got 10 questions for you guys today, and we're gonna talk about the category of the CPU. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so welcome back to another A plus video. If you haven't seen the rest of them, check out the A plus playlist. We recently started this series and we're planning to do a lot more. All right, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right in. Which of the answers listed below refer to the main CPU manufacturers for personal computers? So you're probably already familiar with Intel. It's gonna be the easiest one here. And then the other one that is most common with uh, CPU manufacturers is gonna be AMD. So personal computers, we're referring to typically something that's running a Windows operating system. The other computer that I use in this channel is an AMD Ryzen processor. It's a very powerful processor. And then Intel, and then Intel of course, has a huge selection of processors for PCs. Which of the following terms denotes a 32-bit CPU architecture? So uh, the 32-bit architecture, the way that I remember this is legacy, and the legacy architecture is also known as x86. So you might be tempted to pick 32 here, but remember that legacy x86 is referring to a 32-bit CPU architecture. All right, so we have a similar question here, but now it actually wants us to pick the one that's referring to a 64-bit architecture. And in this case, the correct answer is x64. Presence of program files folder on the C drive in Microsoft Windows indicates that the PC takes advantage of 32-bit architecture and operating system version. Now, while the previous questions might lead you to think that this is true, the correct answer is actually false. Uh, so just because you have the presence of program files called x86 folder in the C drive, that doesn't necessarily indicate a 32-bit architecture. So the short answer is that there are programs that are compatible with both 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. And so there isn't necessarily a connection here. And so you can't definitively make this statement. So the answer is false and we'll press continue. A CPU design based on instruction set that tries to improve speed by utilizing relatively few and simple instructions is referred to as. Now we have two answers here. Now I know for sure it's this answer here and I'm just trying to figure out what the second one might be. Now I believe that the other one here is Epic. This uh, still keeps the instructions at a relatively simple level and it's using like a parallel set of instructions. So it's a little bit different, but I believe that's the correct answer. If I'm wrong, uh, we'll go over that at the end of the video. A type of CPU architecture where the phys single physical CPU contains more than one execution core on a single die or chip is known as. So this one kind of has the answer in the question. Contains more than one execution core on a single chip. That means we have more than one core or multiple cores on a single chip. So the answer is multi-core. An Intel propri proprietary technology that splits a single CPU core into two virtual cores that can be used simultaneously by an OS is called. Now this sounds like it would be parallel processing or even multitasking, uh, but this process itself, again, it's an Intel proprietary technology, is called hyperthreading. So hyperthreading is the answer. A set of Intel CPU hardware enhancements, improving support for virtualization is referred to as now the answer to this one is EPV. And essentially it provides a global view of shared resources. So that's just the name for the, uh, the support system that allows for software and hardware enhancements. Which of the following answers refers to hardware virtualization enhancements developed by AMD for its CPUs? So this is kind of the same question, uh, different, different manufacturer. The answer for this one is AMD V. And that's what AMD calls their uh, virtualization enhancements. Okay, we got two more. Which built-in functionality allows certain CPU models to take over tasks normally executed by a dedicated graphics controller? Now, if you're familiar with a dedicated graphics card, uh, this is essentially the opposite of that. So it's a built-in graphics card where it's basically a part of the central processing unit, and that's called an integrated GPU. So we'll press that. In GPU cooling, thermal paste is applied to fill in the narrow space between uh, this is something you go over relatively early in A+. The answer is CPU and heatsink. 
And if you're not familiar with what this actually looks like, I'd recommend watching a video online. You can see how it gets applied. It's a pretty interesting process. You're basically creating a seal there within the uh, CPU. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's see how we did. All right, so AMD and Intel. Uh, if you're not familiar with those two already, you're probably familiar with Intel. You just gotta remember that AMD is like right behind, right behind Intel. Uh, x86, again, for this one. And then x64 is the actual 64-bit CPU architecture. x86 is legacy. Again, this answer is false because you can't definitively say that the PC is taking advantage of 32-bit architecture in OS. Okay, so it looks like we missed this one. Uh, RISC is the first answer. And then if we just do a quick Google search on this, reduced instruction set computer is a microprocessor that is designed to perform a smaller number of computer instruction types, okay? So that's what RISC is. And then let's go ahead and grab the de definition for ARM as well. Okay, well, I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't get this right. ARM stands for Advanced RISC Machine. So it's basically in the name there. You just have to know what the acronym stands for. And I forgot what the acronym stands for. So the correct answer is ARM. A type of CPU or the single, yep, so multi-core, uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory. And then hyper-threading, again, that's remember, that's when we're getting two virtual cores um, that are being used simultaneously in an operating system. Now, apologies again, I missed another question here. Uh, the correct answer on this one is VTX. Now, EPV uh, is kind of the same thing here. It's now, EPV is kind of the same thing here, uh, but it's its own separate entity. VTX is referring to the Intel hardware enhancements. AMD V, same thing, but for AMD. Integrated GPU, um, you know, you can kind of gather that from the question, but it's kind of like the opposite of a dedicated graphics card. And then finally, the CPU and heatsink. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you found it helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions about any of these, drop those in the comment section below. We'll get you a reply as soon as we can. Now again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.